Alright guys, I want to try something a little bit different right here. Come out here to the greenhouse at night to show you what these seedlings look like. See how close they are to the fluorescent light. This one right here is actually touching the tomato plant. I'm going to be potting these up in the next day or so. But one of the problems that so many people have when they do their seedlings is they get the lights way away from the plants and they get so leggy right away you end up with a tomato that's four inches tall and still has its uh, seed leaves on it these right here most of them already have the first set of true leaves uh, if you can see the stems right there they're nice and thick for a seedling which is good I'll be able to bury those things and uh, they'll they'll take off pretty quick all of these look real good right here even these eggplants that I got coming on are already coming out with the first true leaves and you see they're just you know barely two inches tall so that's that's doing real good no legginess whatsoever that's what you want to see right there and the stems on the tomatoes uh, kinda got a purplish tint to them you see it nice and fuzzy hairs on there that's a that's a healthy seedling you don't want to see that thing solid white and just coming out and hanging over the side of your seed tray that's not a good deal same thing right here this is some broccoli on this side I got the lights pretty close to it and the cabbage looking good over here not the least bit leggy they've already started coming out with the the true leaves on here and doing real good so whenever you get your seedlings started as soon as they sprout get them just as close to that light as you possibly can and that'll cut down on the legginess and give you a much better uh, plant to get started. I'm getting ready to pot up some of these seedlings right here. This is what I showed you from uh, a night or so ago. We're going to take these and put them in these four inch pots right here. I started using these last year. They worked out pretty good. Most of the time when you see seeds starting you'll see this flat right here. It's, uh, it's called a 1020 and you got your little seed trays in it that's a little six pack some four packs a nine pack whatever you decide to put in there to make it work and then you get your seed started in there and i saw a guy in seed tomato man last year doing what he called dense planting with his tomatoes he just take a container and just almost dump the tomato seed in there let them get all you know, as soon as they started making the first true leaves, then he'd go and separate everything out and put them into bigger pots. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. This is my setup. You see I've got the pieces of uh, mini blind in there to make as a divider. I've got some bush beef steak that a lady down in Mississippi sent me from last year or earlier this year. I really liked how that went, so I'm going to try that again. I got some regular beef steak that uh, a guy named uh, Dut Dut sent me. I got my indeterminate Rutgers that I've been saving seeds from. I do have some big beef in here. I got some uh, Jubilee. If y'all seen enough of my videos, you know I like the big orange tomato. Some Black Beauty eggplant, which I think is seeds from 2009, if I'm not mistaken. And trying to get a few peppers come up over here. What I'm going to do is separate these things and get them in this pot right here. To get these out, I'm going to start with these indeterminate Rutgers right here since they are the biggest. I just come up under here with a fork. Reach down in there. Scoop me out some. Got me a nice little bunch of tomato plants right there. And then it's just a matter of separating them out. Tomatoes are pretty hardy. And you can see how many tomatoes I can get in the a tight little container there and you see how thick and how sturdy these stems are not flimsy whatsoever really easy to work with I get them separated and then it's just a matter of poking a little hole down in there and burying that thing all the way up to the leaves you don't have to baby it um, like say some cabbage or broccoli or something like that a tomato is a vine and unless you just flat out go go out of your way to try to kill it it's hard to do them in after I finished getting everything I guess potted up what I would call it 
I ended up with about 80 tomatoes which is a plenty to get started in the next greenhouse I went ahead and separated the eggplant broke some crowns off the strawberry plants that I had outside got some everbearings that are still making strawberries here on uh, November 30th and the little tiny things in the back that's my pepper plants they don't do so well when they're sitting in a, a sterile soil mixture so I went ahead just go ahead and put them in this stuff right here try to get them something to eat and let them kick it into gear we'll check back in a couple of weeks see how much of this stuff is still living just checking in on my seedlings right now today is Wednesday December 7th most of these were done on the 29th or 30th of November so they've been in these four inch pots four and a half inch pots for a good week now coming along nicely one of the things that you can do to try to get a nice healthy plant uh, when you got these things small like this just take your hand about a couple of times a day when you come by just brush the top of them to kind of stimulate the stem there a little bit keep it from just going spindly straight up you can get the same results if you put a little small fan to just blow across it real lightly but I don't have a fan right here close by where I can put across it so I just try to come by and just uh, show them a little love so to speak the eggplant remember how small they were coming along pretty good and these cabbage right here really thickened up I probably need to thin some of them out I want to get a couple dozen out of it anyway to plant me one row in here and the broccoli the same thing coming on pretty good the little peppers now you see why I tried to get them out of that sterile seed mix one of the things I like to do once my tomatoes go ahead and take off on the inside of these cups you can see I got some space down in here where I could put some more soil in it y'all know how I feel about building the soil up around the base of the tomatoes so I come on in and finish filling these up right here I'll get to the ones in the back in just a few minutes and show you how these look now they're nice and full again took my little spray bottle and wet the soil down real good these things right here are going to take off I'm still on schedule as far as trying to get everything finished up in here by Christmas more or less there'll be a few tomatoes left over and I'll have to decide what to do with them but these determinate ruckus right here these things once they started ripening up they just went crazy all kinds of tomatoes on there and you're talking about some good eating stuff just ask Bow Hunter 2439 he'll tell you I'm sure you're thinking that boy done fell and bumped his head starting all this stuff here in uh, the first week of December starting the second week anyway uh, right here going into the heart of winter trying to grow this stuff but I believe it can be done I've done it one time uh, on a small scale in this first greenhouse I'm going to try to take it up to a totally different level and do it on the other side over there I tried to get the plastic on Monday and I ended up with a failed attempt I had to abort that it just uh, just too much wind that day not a whole lot but just enough where I didn't feel comfortable with trying to pull that plastic across but I do have a method where I think that I can just about get it on there myself I'll show that to y'all in the next clip but what I gotta do I gotta get the plastic on get my curtains done on the side of it build the little room to put the stove in build another stove get the uh, water run to it get the electric run work up all the soil inside and get everything ready to plant and transplant and I'm trying to do that between now and Christmas so I got two and a half weeks to try to get this done I think I did fall and bump my head y'all take care God bless you and I'll see you next time